Well, the tragic shooting in Oregon has prompted new calls from the president on gun control. President Obama vowing to talk about the issue on, quote, a regular basis. Yeah, and now GOP presidential candidates are firing back at the president for, in their words, politicizing this massacre. The White House hopefuls are either calling for renewed enforcement of current laws or just examining mental health issues. I had this, this challenge as governor because we had, look, stuff happens. There's always a crisis. And the impulse is always to do something, and it's not necessarily the right thing to do. We should be looking at all of the incidents where we have these people who go out and commit these horrendous crimes to find out as much as we can about what type of person does this. Because we need early warning so that we can begin to intervene. So before we start calling for more laws, I think we ought to consider why we don't uh, enforce the laws we have. And I think we need to know a little bit more about this incident. All right, so let's talk. We have with us Democratic strategist Maria Cardona and Republican strategist Lisa Booth. Good to have both of you. Good morning, Hi, Victor. Victor. Good morning. Hey, Lisa, I want to start with you and Jeb Bush and the, the criticism he's receiving. Uh, he, more of that comment that we heard, he talked about not just Oregon, but his time as governor of Florida and that there were other shootings. And he said stuff happens. Uh, is this a huge gap for, for his campaign or is, is this something else? Well, I think he absolutely should have said something different. I mean, this is absolutely a horrific tragedy, and our hearts are with the families in Roseburg, Oregon. But I think it's important to point out something here. President Obama is having an intellectually dishonest conversation with the American people. And quite frankly, I think it is wrong for him to try to score political points at a time of tragedy. He went out and made comments about the shooting prior to actually having any real information about the circumstances of the shooting. Let's look at the facts right now um, as far as guns in America. The FBI every year does 22 million background checks. We have over 20,000 federal and state laws on the books. And these common sense gun reform proposals that President Obama and other Democrats are talking about would have done nothing to have prevented this shooting. We know that the shooter, a state like Oregon has universal background checks, but this, uh, this shooter was able to obtain those guns legally. If you look at the shooting in Virginia, the shooter there was able to obtain passed a background check and obtained the gun legally. The same instance in Charleston. If you look at the instance of Sandy Hook, the shooter actually did not pass a background check, but stole the guns. These criminals are law breakers uh, by definition. So adding more laws to the books when we aren't following our current laws is not going to prevent them from getting guns and committing acts of evil. Marie, let, Marie, let me come to you because uh, in the question uh, about uh, adding guns and, and stricter gun laws, that was put mm -hmm. to uh, presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders and uh, some people unsatisfied with his answer. Listen to, to what he said on MSNBC. We are all disgusted and horrified by these mass killings and as the president indicated we're tired of sending condolences and we know that it could happen tomorrow it could happen again a month from now uh, i have voted uh as i said a moment ago for what i think is the most important provision and that is strong instant background checks to make sure that people who should not have guns do not have guns uh, and I have voted to eliminate this gun control loophole, which is what we have got to do. But it went on to say that you can sit there and say we can do this, we can do that, but you've got a whole lot of states in this country where people uh, virtually no gun control at all, and we're going to have some success. We are going to have to start talking to each other. Uh, but no suggestion of any stricter gun laws. Is that going to uh, hurt him moving forward? Well, I think that what he's going to focus on, and frankly, a lot of Democrats, including Hillary Clinton, have focused on, is that we do, we should have uh, stronger background checks in every state. Because the problem is, is that we don't have a uniform way to figure out who is buying these guns, how are they getting them, why are they getting them if they shouldn't have them, given their criminal records, or perhaps given the fact that they are mentally ill. The problem with what Republicans are talking about is that they don't want to do anything. They don't want even for the federal government to be able to look into the circumstances under which these guns are obtained, to look uh, into having more uh, records from gun owners, having more records from folks that are perhaps mentally ill. 
And the problem is if you don't do anything, these things are going to continue to happen. The fact of the matter is that the majority of Americans, including the majority of gun owners, do believe and do support having more stringent background checks That's actually in every state for people who are looking to buy guns. And the president was absolutely right to politicize this because this is a political issue. When this is something that continues to happen and nobody wants to do anything, including elected leaders, because they feel like they're being held hostage by the NRA, it is absolutely That's the responsibility of people who no. want to be president Lisa, and people Mar who are looking to be leaders but to focus Marina, on solutions. You're, Lisa, you're let me come to you. Let me, let me ask you this question. I want to get to specifically the candidates. Carly Fiorina, Ben Carson uh, proposing here, enforcing the laws that are already in place uh, while uh, other uh, medical background as well, a uh, springboard to discussion of medical health. I mean, it, are we seeing that that is resonating? Because I want to keep this to the conversation of those mm -hmm. who want to be the next president. Well, and Victor, you're absolutely right. I mean, look, she, or Carly Farina is absolutely right. Look, we have 20,000 federal and state laws on the books, and Maria is perpetuating the same intellectually dishonest conversation that Democrats are wanting to have to push their anti-gun agenda in America. The reality is the commonality that we continue to see with these shootings is, is a mental health issue. And also these are 92% of these shootings are happening in gun-free zones, as was the case in Oregon. And the reality is in a lot of these northeastern state where these liberal de uh, Democrats are pushing for you know more stringent gun control laws, these states aren't even turning over the records to the, uh, the uh, FBI NICS database that would prevent these individuals from obtaining yeah, there, guns, such as mental health issues. And that is a huge problem we are facing in this certainly country. Certainly has so been we, that, that problem. So pushing for universal background checks, what is that going to do if the, here, if the FBI doesn't do. even have here's that it. information in the first here, place? Here, Maria, here, I'll give you the last 15, 20 in seconds. In a lot of these instances, here's what these it will individuals do, pass If you let me talk, checks. I will tell you what it, it will last do. Last 15. What it will, what it will do is that it will bring every state under the same law because there is no reason why if, for example, in Washington, D.C., very stringent laws, but they can go over to Virginia and then easily obtain and easily gun obtain a gun, bring it into right. Washington, D.C., and commit crimes. So if you don't have if you don't have uniformity in the laws, they don't You're, work. We Let's heard from focus on the solutions. We actually like heard from, from Governor Cuomo. Let me finish up here. Like, we heard from Governor Cuomo and told Wolf Blitzer uh, that he, he believes that in the laws that he passed in New York, that he closed the front door, but then guns started coming in through the exactly. back door. So that's a continu continuation that of the challenge exactly the uh, from state to state. Maria Cardona, Lisa Booth, thank you very much.